Hey guys, it's your girl Vaughn. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to have a bit of a get ready with me makeup edition. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Right now I'm getting ready to head to TGI. I'm going to be an extra in a ad and it's giving like work vibes. So I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to show you my no foundation makeup routine. Something that I do to, you know, look a little bit more put together but not necessarily 100% glam so if that's something that you are interested in then stay tuned let's get into the video so I'm gonna zoom in just now but right now my face is bare I did my skincare routine about an hour, two hours ago at this point but when I sit down to do makeup I like my face to feel refreshed so I did go in with some micellar water from Garnier, just work that all throughout my face and then rinse it off with some water. So we feel refreshed right now. I do feel a little bit dry, but mm, that's whatever at this point. Uh, so first off, um, it is still daytime. So I'm going to be going in with the BioBalance AKN Sun Mattifying Face Aqua Fusion. And this is an SPF. Now it says that it is matte, but it's not really matte on me but i used it the other day uh when i did something a similar makeup routine and for some reason i really liked how my skin looked like my skin was looking very plump with it on so i figured i'll go in with it again today don't forget your neck so i've blended it in as much as it would go as you can see there's not really much of a white cast but you can see it's not mattifying at all. Instead, it leaves my skin with quite a lot of a glow. Um, it, I kind of do feel it on my skin. That's not really the point of this video, but quick review. I kind of do feel it on my skin, but it's not really that bad. It doesn't feel like heavily greasy. Uh, but yeah, so you could see that it has provided my skin with some level of moisture and you know something to work with, which is what makes this whole routine so easy and looks good and natural so i've just brought you in a little bit closer usually for this routine it's a very quick and easy uh step right now it's 3 15 on my clock and i'm actually supposed to be leaving home now so let's try to get this done within the next 15 minutes so usually i don't really use any primer for this look but because i am gonna be on camera i think that it's a good option today so i'm just gonna be using the one size secure the blur makeup magnet primer um, I'm just gonna be using this I think pretty much in my t-zone area because I don't really want to put it everywhere if you see me looking this way I'm looking at my mirror right so that is where most of the product is gonna be anyway all right so to achieve this look it's really just using a whole lot of concealers so I'm gonna be using three different concealers to achieve this look the first one is the NYX Born to Blue Radiant Concealer and I use this in the shade Mocha and this is going to be used to hide any dark marks that I don't really want to see. My skin has not been doing, I'm going to have to bring this mirror closer you guys know I can't see. My skin has not been doing the best recently so I do actually have quite a few dark marks to cover up and this shade works really well, this shade works really well for me. right so that is how my skin looks with them applied with some spots applied if you can even really tell all right so we're gonna go into the second concealer now while that sets a little bit because we want the pigment to stay you know i'm gonna go in with the second concealer this is the cover fx power play concealer and i use mine in the shade p deep three and i use this to cover up any dark circles underneath my eyes i wouldn't say i really have dark circles but there is a you know it's not really bright under there so i just go in with a few dots underneath here like that and keep it pretty much in that area and then i go in with my last concealer which is the one size turn up the base concealer and i have this in the shade dark 3g and i go in with the tiniest dot on the inner corner of my under eye area just to add a little bit of brightness that might actually be too much so that is how my face looks right now 
right so all the concealers are applied and most times I'll either go in with a sponge or my fingers and blend this out um, what do you feel like today I don't really have a clean sponge I do also sometimes use a brush like this this flat top brush that is very dense so I think I'm actually gonna use this today and blend out everything and for the sake of it I wouldn't usually do this for this routine but again I am gonna be on camera so I'm just gonna use the milk hydro grip satin spray to dampen my brush a little bit right and then go in and blend out these spots right so i can't really see it let me know what do you think about it so far down below but that concealer really just helped to hide you know these spots that i didn't really want to be seen like this one down here it's pretty much gone but you still see some of the pigments for it to still seem natural right even on my forehead my forehead looks clearer but you know it still looks natural so we're gonna go in again with the same brush and just blend out the under eye area and this brush is pretty big for underneath there but it's fine it's not really a precise look anyway Right, so that's pretty much how all of that looks blended out depending on what you like you could go in with a lighter or more of the lighter concealer but this is pretty good for me I look a little bit lifted underneath the eyes but I still look you know natural my top looks weird but I still look natural so then I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty this is the soft pinch liquid blush and I have mine in the shade love I absolutely love this blush it's my favorite like I will have on no makeup at all and still put this on I love the color it's like a really nice orangey color on especially on my skin tone it just I love it so look at how this goes most times I use my finger to blend this out do I want to do that yeah I do so we're just gonna blend it out on the cheek area and I kind of carry it up and I kind of carry it up a little bit here. Right, so that just adds a flush of color to the cheek. Right, so we have pretty much all the creams laid down right now. What I am gonna do is go in with a little bit of the one size concealer underneath my eyebrows, just to give a little lift. Just gonna comb them out first literally just a touch because i don't really want it to be too much right so just a touch like that go in with my finger again and just blend that out uh, maybe i should have waited for it to set a little bit yeah i'm gonna wait a little bit while it sets anyway moving on to the next step we're gonna be setting all of these creams so to set the under eye area i'm gonna be using the laura mercier this is the translucent loose setting powder in the shade honey and then for the rest of the face i am gonna be using the sephora micro smooth powder and this is in the shade deep so let's just blend out this under eye area and use any finger of course as you know or if you don't know it really just helps to warm the product up and I think it helps to blend it better into the skin to make sure that we keep that natural look because I just want to look put together I don't want to look like made up you know make sure to wash your hands after this so you and don't touch your clothes all right so we have everything pretty much done I could just blend out this area by the end of the eyebrow there right so we have a basic lift like not too much but you can see there's a little change right so right now my face is definitely giving lots of glow um it's giving healthy natural glow i would say um but we need to set it down so i'm just tapping out the inner corners here of my eye and then going in with the powder um for this step i do sometimes use a bare dry sponge no particular reason except for the fact that it's laziness and i did not wet it before 
and just press that in to the under eye area and on the eyelid as well and just really press it in right so I'm gonna do that for the other side as well and because of how natural this look is you don't really need that much to set like there's no whole lot of baking or anything you just really work it into the skin and sometimes i also carry it on like my forehead i did not apply any brighter concealer to this area but because my forehead most likely will be getting greasy i'm just gonna set that as well with this powder and my nose and my chin right you can just set everywhere honestly <laughs> but then for the rest of the face we're going to be using the Sephora, the Sephora powder as I said all right and see we have gone from glowy gal to set Cistern. I have no idea <laughs> but you can definitely tell the difference in how the glow has just settled with um, the setting with the powder but my skin still has some natural glow like on the sides here it's not really like why is my top doing that it's not really like dead matte right so after this step then I will just go in with some mascara especially because I am running late it's now 328 I would have gone in with a little bit of eyeliner but I can't be bothered to mess it up so I'm just gonna be using the L'Oreal telescopic mascara this is a fave and just doing some mascara I am gonna be wearing my glasses so I don't really need any eyeshadow and again this is a very natural look i would not really wear eyeshadow with this look anyway the most i would do is use my bronzer and just dash it in my eyelid right so that is how the eyelashes look i love this mascara like look how good my eyelashes look now i'm just gonna go and brush out any powder from my brows and quickly fill them in with the next fill and fluff eyebrow pencil y'all i can't see you know and my focus when doing my eyebrows especially for this look is really just the tail and this this part here where i am losing hair from my eyebrow <laughs> i just like to fill in those things and just lightly go over the front and then brush it out again just to make it look natural the whole vibe is natural right so this is how we look right now do i want to add any highlighter um, i don't think i really need it but i am just gonna add a touch because why not and i don't think i really usually do this but i'm just gonna use the butt of my beauty blender and then just press some onto my skin Oh my gosh, I put too much. Wow, that's way too much. This side looks better. I put too much. Let's try to brush some of that away. Anyway, it's still giving naturalish kind of glow kind of no it's really a lot over there oh well anyway so that's pretty much it for the look now i will go in and set again most times i do this look it might just be for like a quick run in and out so i may not necessarily set but i have been liking this combo recently these are both from urban decay and they are the all nighter and the the slick satin sprays um i've been using them together because one is for the longevity of the makeup and the other one is for keeping the oils at bay i am an oily girl so i need that all right so that is gonna keep my makeup on and in place for the rest of the evening um once it settles down a little bit i am gonna go in with my beauty blender and just pat it which is kind of risky because I just um, 
used that on the highlighter and then most times I will just then just go in with a gloss and call that George but again I think today I'm gonna do something different just given the circumstances I am gonna sorry I'm just looking for what I want so I just line my lips a little bit with the Ali Girl Perfect Precision Lip Line in the shade Chocolate and then I'm going to be using this infallible Pro Mac Gloss from L'Oreal. This is in the shade Statement Nude. I don't really use this that often so I figured now would be a good time. Just a very pinky nude. I'll just pat that in. So this is how the face looks. Sometimes I would go in with a little... Actually, let's do it. I don't know why I didn't do it before. But I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is the airbrush bronzer. And I have it in shade deep. I love this bronzer. First of all, the packaging is great. But then the bronzer itself is just even greater. I don't know if that's adding anything really. But I'm just going to add a little bit onto the cheeks. right and that is pretty much it for me today and then I put back on my glasses because your girl needs to see all right and that is my finished look so let me zoom you guys back out and end off this video all right so I washed my hands I added my scent of the day which today is very very her and it's currently 340 me and that's about 20 about 25 minutes but you know with filming things do take a little bit longer but i can get this makeup done within about 10 minutes or so but yeah so this is the finished look as you can see i don't necessarily feel like i look like i have on a full face of makeup but i do kind of sometimes <laughs> but i don't have one you know foundation and i look a lot more put together than i did when i first got on camera so that is pretty much it for this video hope you enjoyed hope you learned something new if you like this type of video then let me know maybe i can do some more in the future i do have to come back and show you guys what i have been doing recently for my full face of makeup uh, so we will get that done but again all products used will be listed down below if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one let me go and have some food